Good morning, I'm Al Lippman, Mayor of Mesquite. Today's COVID-19 report is 1,037 cases since March. There have been reported 22 deaths in Mesquite residents, but the CDC may be behind as they verify death certificates before letting the health district know. I have a special guest with me this morning, Kelly Adams, the new CEO of Mesa View Regional Hospital. Before I introduce Kelly, I want to talk briefly about some misconceptions in regards to the vaccine and its distribution in Mesquite. Social media in Mesquite and some who post on it are not always telling you the truth. It's been demanded of me to provide information about the vaccine rollout, even if the information is incorrect or incomplete. I will not. I have no intentions of misleading our residents unless the information can be verified. With the governor changing what and how the vaccine is being handled, you can see where we are. Just the other day, the federal government admitted they had no reserve of vaccine. Nevada has not received nearly enough vaccines for its residents. This has caused delays in every state. Saturday, the headlines of the Las Vegas Review-Journal were, Vaccine Frustrations Rise, that patients urged among shortages, website problems, they are correct. These are situations we're trying to avoid. Let me quote from a letter to the editor of the journal two days ago. Quote, I'm 75 and I managed to schedule an appointment for my wife and the site said it would not be available till May 15th. I received an appointment for February 25th. If you have been watching the news out of Las Vegas, people are calling hundreds of times to make an appointment, often with no success. These are situations that we are trying to avoid. Mesa View, the Eureka, the City of Mesquite, the local Southern Nevada Health District and others are working very hard at putting together a distribution plan that will hopefully work smoothly. A program of this magnitude has never been conducted in Mesquite or elsewhere. It is a major undertaking and we want it right the first time. We will be receiving considerable assistance from the Eureka Community Initiative and CERT in addition to other volunteers and city staff. Our plan is dependent on factors such as vaccine availability, licensed staff and location. We have the staff, we have the location. We, of course, need the Moderna vaccine, which currently is the only one most places have the proper freezer for. The shots for Moderna are given 28 days apart and must be the same vaccine. So far, more than 140 healthcare workers, first responders, and other Tier 1 individuals have received the first dose. Our target date for residents to begin making appointments online by phone and in person is Friday, January 22nd. More details on this will be made available as soon as they are finalized. Appointments will be available five days per week, Tuesday through Saturday, 7.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Our target date for vaccinations will begin, will begin Tuesday, February 2nd. Our location is the Rising Star Fieldhouse at 333 North Sand Hill behind the hotel. There will be volunteers to assist with directions. Vaccines will be offered to the public at no cost to the patient. There will be forms that have to be filled out prior to the vaccination, and you will be able to make an appointment for your second shot before you leave. By the way, vaccinations are open to residents of the Moapa Valley and the Arizona Strip. As we learn more, I will do additional videos with updated information. For more information, you can also visit health.mesquite.gov or southernnevadahealthdistrict.org or mesaviewhospital.com. When you read the Las Vegas news, you'll find conflicting information. In Las Vegas, you need to provide insurance information. In Mesquite, you do not. However, you must have identification along with the necessary forms. They will be online and at announced places around town for those without a computer or a printer. If you are a snowbird, you can get the vaccine, but plan on being here to receive the second shot. If you return home early, they may not have the Moderna and you cannot mix the two. I know this sounds like a lot in order to receive a vaccine. Kelly will tell you more about this program. Mayor, thank you for having me here this morning. This is, uh, this is most important to get the, the word out to the community about this immunization for the entire community and the entire area, if you think about that for a moment. So just kind of clarify on a couple things that you, you had just touched on is, you know, for us to begin what we call tier two or lane two, uh, tier one had to be completed and uh, between the hospital and working with the fire chief you know tier one will be taken care of by the end of January that's why February the 2nd 
again, February 2nd is the, the Tuesday, February 2nd is the day that we plan on beginning the immunization for uh, the greater community of Mesquite. And so uh, we hope uh, and, and the, the, the plan is to have a website and a phone number active by this coming Friday uh, that we can start, uh, we can start scheduling, which would be January 22nd. And we'll schedule, Mayor, we'll schedule for only two weeks out. That way we can make sure the schedules are full and that, you know, that's all driven by the length of time that we can store the vaccination. So we, you know, you know we build in that two week period of time so we can keep the schedules full. And again, the uh, Mesa, Mesa View Regional Hospital is operationalizing this and we'll be working with a number of volunteers in the community and um, you know the location over the Rising Star has plenty of room, plenty of parking, the, and we're still looking for volunteers. Uh, Jerry over at the Eureka is coordinating the volunteer effort, and so we are looking for volunteers. Um, the nurses will be coming from the hospital. We'll have others that will help us do the actual vaccinations. We're looking for students uh, to help us, you know, draw up, draw up the vaccination. So this is. Truly, Mayor, a true community effort, you know, with the city, with the hospital, with the fire district, with Eureka, with CERT, with the Southern Nevada Health District. Uh, this is truly a community effort to do this immunization. Thank you, Kelly, and thank you, Mayor, of you for stepping up to the plate. I hope what we said today will help you alleviate many of your concerns about receiving the vaccine. This is not a slam dunk procedure. And as I said before, we want this to go right and be a pleasant experience for all of you. Thank you for your time and stay mesquite strong.